Welcome to Mobile Application Tutorials. My name's Nigel. This is going to be the introduction of a new tutorial series, which is rated, related to the previous tutorial series um, on the performance optimizations for an Android application. And we were using a grid gallery using recycle views for the performance series on optimizations. Now, this, now at the end of that tutorial series, we were using the grid gallery on a number of Android third-party image libraries. And it got to the stage where it was pretty difficult to see the changes in scrolling between the various image libraries. So this is going to be a tutorial series on profiling and using various tools to look at a deeper level to see what's actually happening. And hopefully we should be able to see some differences between the various image libraries, whether or not um, it's dropped frames or increased memory usage or certain applications um, spending too long executing a method on a particular thread. We're going to use these tools just to get a good insight to look at that. Okay, now let me introduce you to the tools that I'm proposing to use for this tutorial series. So if we go to the Android developer page here on profiling tools, the first tool I'm looking at using is going to be the profiling GPU when rendering walkthrough. So I just select that. So basically what we want to see is how long it takes to render a frame on our device. So I'm going to be running this on each third-party image library, Android image library, just to see how long the rendering takes us. And we'll get a little bar graph at the bottom there showing us what's happening, and it'll give us an indication whether we're dropping any frames, which could cause the, whole, the application to um, seem to be stuttering. And we can also see how long um, each part of the rendering takes as well. So if certain areas of the rendering are spent too long taking time, we'll be able to see that as well. And so that's going to be on the GPU rendering. If I just go back. And the next thing I want to look at is the memory analysis. So I'm going to use the memory monitor walkthrough. And basically, I want to see when I start up the application, how much total memory being consumed by the application. And then when I start scrolling up and down, I also want to see um, how that memory grows, how the heap and the me memory being allocated will grow. And when we use the garbage collection, the memory decreasing as well. So all these third-party libraries are going to be run under the same conditions. And so we'll be seeing differences there to see if we believe that certain, certain libraries are consuming too much memory or not, as the case may be. So this is quite a straightforward um, application to run, and it'll be an introduction to this application as well. So if we go back again, and there's going to be one more tool I want, want to try out, which is the trace view tool. So I'll be introducing you to this tool, and we'll also be showing you, you can get two panes showed up, one's a timeline pane, we can see basically all the threads running in the system. And from that, you can see how long a particular method takes to run in a particular thread. And we'll be able to see the UI thread or the main thread. And we can see the sort of background threads, which are probably going to be loading the bitmaps as well. And so there'll be a certain indication and a pattern we'll pick up after looking at each one of these image libraries to see if one might be spending too much time in a strange sort of area in a thread or not as the case may be and so we'll be introducing you to the trace view tool running from android studio as well and at the moment all i'm proposing to do is to run these three tests and post the results on a tutorial basis for each android image library if you feel there's a test that i'm not including here which is pertinent and you want me to add the test, by all means, just respond. Probably the best place to respond is on the YouTube comments and say, hey, hey, yeah, you're missing out on a new test, or I think this test will be pertinent as well. Would you please consider adding that to the tutorial series? And, and I'll, I'll review that, and if I feel 
yeah, it should go in there. I'll add that as well. And so, yeah, this is just a short video introduction to running these tests on the Android third-party image libraries. And this hopefully will give us a lot more of an indication of which library is better suited for certain tasks or which libraries is a great general purpose library for loading um, and, uh, Android bitmaps. Anyway, that's it for this tutorial. Um, remember, if you want to follow this tutorial and get notifications and you haven't already, just click on that subscribe button. That's all for this one. Bye for now.